Yeah, and it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Star Studio Gallery in the backyard. And you're in for a treat because I have no idea what to do with this painting. Actually, I do. And I don't like it. So I'm thinking that it might be kind of cool to let it go wherever it wants and add some other colors to it later. Maybe. I just slid my sun off completely. We'll see what we can do. There may be nothing to do. But I think black and white may come into it hardcore. So that looks like a strong wind. <laughs> I'm going to put this 14 by 14 canvas aside for a moment. I'm going to throw some black in here in ways I think will look good, maybe. I'm going to grab my spatula and see what happens. Might be time to get out some other color. and wipe off the color I've got on my spatula, on my damp rag, which is over here. A couple of them. Try and always keep those handy. Nice flat side out so I can clean off my spatula blade. This is a primary example of how to save something depending on whether we save it or not. And that's a big if. But the good part is, for me at least, if I don't, uh, if I don't want to share it with you, I don't have to. And I hate wasting paint, and there's a certain amount of paint wasting that needs to happen right now. Let's do the white. Back to the spatula. I want some blue and some Prussian blue, but I mostly want some of this blue. I don't get to use this blue often enough. And yeah, I had other colors on my spatula. The white isn't really uh, showing up too extremely. I am gonna have to keep playing. It's short of scraping the whole canvas off. This is what I'm doing. So <laughs> I don't know if I can recommend that or not, but uh, I definitely wanted to play with this and try it for a while. I got too much paint in my way and I'm inclined to want to just tip it a little to see what starts to happen. And we've got some neat stuff going on there. I still haven't gotten the colors right. That'll help a little. Getting somewhere now. <laughs> she said hopefully. I'm just going to use my chain, wrap it right in a few things, and then I'm going to loop it, because the loops are awesome. I love the loops. I'm going to make some nice purple mud. I'm inclined to throw some orange in there just because I can. Ooh, the name of my book on the Amazon link. Go figure. White will often make awesome trails, pull through other things. I'm going to leave that on my cloth. I'm going to have a little bit of a waggle, pull some stuff, clean off my basing brush. Know that I've got another one. Let's pull that orange out and see if that's going to help at all. I want to do everything all at once. I've got gold, I've got magenta, and I might want to use all of it. I also have wanted for a while just to uh, continue on with the whole painting where I dip my bamboo skewer in and drag things. 
and waggle. Yeah, I know. Somebody's going, and you waggle them. Yes, I do. I have a gorgeous color. Where is it? Right over here. That I think might help a lot. I already started with the fork, so I'm a little fork shy right now. But um, I'm liking some of the things I'm seeing in here right now also. I still have a little bit of the original poured off painting left over there. And um, I don't think I'm going to want to keep it though. I wanted some more gold and I definitely want some, some blue with that gold. Because they sell together beautifully. Let's see if I'm right. Let's just tap over the side. Alright, so I like the darkness of that blue. I also like the purple. I just, I kind of want to put in a bunch of colors and then tip the painting. And if I move some of it, now what am I going to do, move it with? Move some of it with my chain. I want to keep that purple as an active accent color. I'm afraid at this point, if I move this, there's so much paint on here now that I may not get any of it back. So maybe just swivel that. I'm still talking about some gold. I haven't used all of the... Uh, I see that I need something here. Oh look, it's a spiral. Go figure. How about glasses? Hey, that might help a lot. That might help tremendously. I'm trying to uh, create a composition where there really was none a moment ago. It can be fun. It really can. Especially if you're not freaking out too badly. I like all that. This is... Yeah, that was a little too extreme. I want some more orange, but I want a different color orange. And this is that. And I liked what was down there, too. So I want to be a lot more cautious about what I do. I'm going to have to keep wiping things off. Arg! Let's just grab a different bamboo, excuse me, a different basting brush. And I know that paint will probably fill right back in. I want some bright pink. I want some of my butterfly wing art mines in there somewhere. Yes, and where are you? Show yourself. This would probably be very nice. There's a lot going on in here now, none of which I'm minding. I'm going to have lots of stuff to clean off, lots of paint. Do I want a little more turquoise up there? I kind of do. This is extraordinary, actually. Now, I'm pretty happy. And I'm almost done, so I'm going to tell you, while I continue to play with this, that, um, wow, that's a first. <laughs> I don't remember that ever happening before. That um, you can purchase my artwork, if you're interested, by mentioning it to me on comments on the comment section of YouTube. And you can always find the painting's file number to identify something that you want by looking at the end of the title. I'd like a little more interesting stuff falling over the sides. I like that white so much I'm really inclined to throw a little bit more in there. But it's terrible because whatever I cover up is <laughs> gone forever. Just a little more is good. Hey, that's pretty awesome. I'm pretty happy with all that. And I've got paint on my fingers, and I can put it wherever I want. And that's where I want. Yeah, I'm... Um, I rescued it <laughs> from oblivion, because I did not like that at all. I've done much better, and I will again. I like that magenta in there. And I didn't start a timer, which means that um, we're pretty much done. This is cool. I'm happy with this. Somebody's going to be happy with this, I can tell you now. Wipe off my skewer. 
Actually, I shouldn't have wiped it off. I should have put it right on the edge of the canvas where it would have blended in with everything else. I really wanted a little more gold, though. I really, really did. And I'm almost done. I used some of that pink, but not all of it. I think I'm going to steal this chain, this totally schmutzed up chain. And let all that blend in right up there. Sometimes I feel like tipping it when I see that there's a big pile of paint. But um, otherwise, I'm pretty pleased. I really am surprised that I rescued it, but I guess I shouldn't be because my favorite thing in the world really is being an abstract expressionist artist. So this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the back here. It's saying check out under the video for my uh, paint pouring recipe and my Amazon link. And if you shop there at no added cost to you, you help me out. And I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, also, every time you give me a thumbs up, it helps the YouTube algorithm know where to place my videos. And the same thing for watching longer, watching my videos longer. You can find all of my video playlists, well, at least one long one, like 650 on the end screens in the last 20 seconds of this video. I'm going to be touching up my edges for a minute with torch to release the bubbles in the paint. Not that there should be very many left after I've dragged a fork through most of this, but um, I'm loving the cells. We've got a lot of cells. I use no silicone in any of my work. And, uh, it's the deco art pouring medium flow troll half and half combination. I see that thing there that does not belong. So this is extreme but cool. I like it. It's got a lot of colors and a lot of a lot of depth in it in a bunch of different places. Saying that being said, I kind of want to add just a little more before you're gone. And if you're gone, I apologize. <laughs> if you're gone, you won't hear me say that. So, I love you guys. There's over 86,000 of you right, right at this point. We're very close as I speak to you. Um, what else can I tell you? Every time you shop something like my Teespring under the video, you help me out. Every time you go to Fine Art America from my Facebook pages and check out my stuff, um, you help me out. Yes, I'm adding spirals and I love them. I can't help it. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't sure about those, but I am now. I like them very much. So, that's very cool. That's definitely a uh, abstract expressionist paisley, if ever, ever there was one. So come again. Hope you watch some more videos. I said I love you. I'm sure I'm forgetting all kinds of stuff, but don't forget that thumbs up. And um, I'll see you again soon. This is Priscilla Batzell. I said all that stuff already. Priscilla out. Bye for now.